Bocca po Bretonsko, which means butter beans in nice tomato sauce with meat. So what I've got need for this, I need obviously butter beans, some chopped tomatoes, nice juicy onions, some garlic, marian, uh, tomato puree, and of course we need some meat. So I'm using bacon, but I'm using small bacon with some herbs, but you can just get normal bacon, and some sausage. So now let's start cutting everything and start cooking. Everything is chopped now, so now let's start cooking it. So this dish is traditional Polish dish. I got inspired by my hairdresser who mentioned this dish the other day and I thought, you know what, I've never actually cooked it, so let's do it. So my butter beans, they go in a pan together with the water as well. So just empty them both tins. And on this frying pan, let's start frying the meat. So as I mentioned before, the bacon I bought is slightly already cooked, it's smoked. So they have to cook it for too long. So if it's, if it's a raw bacon, then you will uh, fry it first, then transfer it into the beans. But because the sausage and the bacon are already smoked, I'm going to put them all together. And from the sausage, I've removed the skin. Because the skin is quite tough, so I don't like it. So put the pan on and just fry it. A little bit so the fat runs off it. You can see that the bacon and the sausage have to add a little bit of fat just here in the bottom. So keep stirring for approximately five minutes. Um, and as you saw, I'm using a butter tin which are in the tin because they are quicker, they are express. You can have a drier butter beans, you can fold them overnight and then boil for one and a half hour. But why? Why would you wait one and a half hour boiling it to then get it in the tin? It's the same product, isn't it? And it's much quicker and cheaper. So, my sausage is nice and brown now. I'm happy with it. So now I can add uh, onion to it. So I'm adding white, uh, one onion cut into small uh, cubes. Uh, but the will work on here. I'm leaving garlic on the side, which are pressed. Because garlic burns, burns very easily. So I will add it right at the end. Now cook it for another five minutes. It looks like the onion is cooked now. So now I'm adding garlic. So two cloves of garlic are pressed. Stir it all together. You don't have to really fry the garlic. It's just basically just to combine it together in a pan nicely. And then we'll just, oh, we can smell it. Wow, it smells delicious. And now I'm going to transfer this here into the pan and I will boil for five minutes on very low heat. Uh, you can see I've got induction hob, which is less mess ooh, and easy to clean if you do make a mess like I just did here. So bring it to boil and boil for five minutes. Occasionally give it a stir. Look who just woke up! Summer Belle! Summer, look what mommy cooking! She's making fasolka for Britonsku! Do you want some? Do you want some? Yeah, you do! A bit too small, aren't you? Now, it's time to add tomatoes. So I'm adding one tin of tea on chopped tomatoes. And I'm going also to reduce the heat on very, very low. So on mine, I'm only reducing to, to, to two, and you can do up to nine, so it's only very, very low. And so one tin of tomatoes goes in. Also tomato puree. Um, just squeeze a little bit, approximately maybe two tablespoons. And a bit of extra just for good luck. A little bit of salt. I normally don't use salt in my cooking, so I just do a splash, just like that, no more. Freshly ground pepper, very, very important. Oh, obviously open the, the lid first. So, a little bit of pepper. And the most important ingredient in this dish is the marian, which is a herb, and I'm using two tablespoons of it, so quite a lot, and it's very, very strong herb, but this dish basically tastes of it. So give it a good stir and bring it to boil 
but on very very low for 15 minutes so on very very low boil for 15 minutes and now you can sit down and have a cup of tea or play with your daughter my beans are ready now they've been cooking for 15 minutes and how you can serve them you can serve them with like a crusty bread it goes really well as a snack uh, one thing I've men I haven't mentioned, I've used 250 grams of sausage and 250 grams of bacon. That's my amount. So, how did you find this recipe? Easy, isn't it? So, make sure you subscribe to my channel, press the button and like it and comment on it. And remember to subscribe! Subscribe today!